Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Nos sin salutación a todos los francophones. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, nous sommes la vérité du Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. Este es el programa radial, verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. We ask the bow with us as brother or minister Daryl Jones of Florence, South Carolina, will now lead us in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day. Father God, we thank you for another day that was telecast is being aired. Father God, we want to thank you for all the many blessings that you have stored upon us. Father God, we just want to give you the honor and the praise that you deserve. Father God, as we stand, Father God, we want to ask you, Lord God, just to look down upon these people. Father God, let your word continue to go out and reach men and women everywhere. Lord God, let your word charge their heart. Father God, that they might see themselves. Father God, and that they might repent of their sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Father God, we thank you now for the word that's gone forth to telecast. Father God, we thank you for the man of God today. Father God, we ask that you continue to give him strength, give him much wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of thy word. Yes, continue Lord. to broaden his understanding of the scriptures. Father God, that he might be able to lead the people in the way of righteousness. Oh God, we thank you so kindly for this day, Lord God. Father God, we ask you to continue to look down upon the sick and the shut-in. Lord, those that are disabled, Father God, touch them with your healing. Oh God, we thank you today. We thank you for those in the foreign countries, Lord Jesus. Father God, continue to charge their minds. Lord God, that they will serve you. Father God, for the rest of their lives. Father God, we ask you to look into the prison, Lord God. Those that are bound, Father God, we ask you to change their hearts. Father God, and show them, Lord God, that they need to make changes in their lives. Father God, let your word continue to reach their souls. Father God, we ask you to just continue just to bless each and every one under the sound of my voice. Father God, we ask that you continue just to be a, be a God unto your people. Father God, and don't let them go astray. Father God, lead them in the way of righteousness. Father God, we thank you so kindly for all the prophets and the apostles. Father God, as they, as they guide us in the way of righteousness. Oh God, we thank you now for this day. Father God, we thank you for how you've allowed the word to go over the telecast. Reaching men and women everywhere. Father God, we ask that as we go into this new year, Lord God, that you would continue just to open up the ways Open up pathways, Lord Jesus, that your word will reach men and women everywhere. Father God, we ask that you just continue just to bless this telecast. Oh God, that it may be a blessing to each and every one. Oh God, we thank you right now today, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you to continue to bless the man of God as he brings forth the word. Father God, we ask you just to continue just to charge men and women heart. Lord God, just to receive the word. And Lord God, take it to their own benefit. Oh, God, we thank you for all these things. Lord God, and we'll be more careful and more kind just to give your name the grace and the praise and the honor that you deserve. We ask all these blessings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. For those who are joining us again, you're listening to and witnessing the Truth of God radio and television program. It's pre-recorded as usual, coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our address is 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, and that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Uh, you're also listening to and uh, watching the concluding services, one of two of our year-end services, the year 2007, that again is coming to you from our headquarters assembly here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The date today being uh, December the 30th, I believe it is, of uh, the year 2007. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current list of our radio and television stations, a uh, list of our church locations both here in the United States and abroad. 
uh, a list of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and uh, the church's magazine called The Truth of God Journal of the Fourth Edition, and that's available for 10 US dollars. Uh, a cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. We do also have uh, DVDs and CDs of our program available. And uh, again, if you wish to receive copies of those, uh, we'd like you to write to the church directly, but I'll give you that uh, address shortly. But I'd just like to remind you that to today's or tonight's program number uh, for your uh, information is 778. Once again, today's or tonight's program number that you're listening to or watching is 778. Now, if you desire to receive copies of our broadcast, uh, again, you can uh, send uh, all your correspondence to our church. Uh, the church address is uh, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, and that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But as usual, we'd like you to direct your correspondence to our post office box. It's P.O. Box 7745. Once again, it's P.O. Box 7745, and that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the zip code being 19101. Once again, send your uh, questions or concerns or requests for copies of our broadcast uh, to our P.O. Box address. It's P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. And that address should be on screen uh, throughout the course of the program. Again, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area, or if you have questions or concerns about our program, you can send your questions or concerns, again, directly to us to that address I just gave. Uh, failing that, we'd also like you to uh, go to the internet and uh, visit our website. It's www.truthofgod.com. Once again, go to our website. Uh, our website address, www.truthofgod.com. You can also email us, and as always, we're requesting that you send us a short email. Uh, please send us a short email. As I've said before, we receive a tremendous amount of emails. If you make your email short, we'll be better able to perhaps get it read on the radio or over the television for you. Our email address, truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, truthofgod at errols.com, and that should be on on screen again throughout the course of the program. Failing that, you can also uh, pick up the phone and give us a call. It's toll free. Uh, it's toll free to you. Again, if you have questions or concerns about what you've heard on our program, our uh, uh, toll free number is 1 888 231 2201. Once again, toll free 1 888 231 2201. Uh, quickly to our French speaking listeners, nos sent salutations à tous nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette mission nous parvient de la première église, Notre Seigneur Jésus Christ, située à 24 31 Frankfurt Avenue à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925 aux États-Unis d'Amérique. La voie plan du salut de Dieu demande le repentez et le baptême dans l'eau. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, pour l'absolution de vos péchés, et que vous sauviez le cadeau du Saint-Esprit, comme il est écrit dans la Bible. Nous vous invitons à nous soutenir pour recevoir une documentation gratuite, en français ou en anglais, intitulée « Êtes-vous honnête, femme prédicatrice, et Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant ?» Encore une fois, nous vous rappelons notre adresse, première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Situé à 24 31 Frankfurt Avenue à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Dieu vous bénisse. Nous espérons avoir de vos nouvelles très prochainement. Few words to our French speaking listeners, both here and abroad. Just like to remind you, again, you're listening to and watching uh, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's coming to you today from our headquarters assembly, <coughs> located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader teacher, guide, and general overseer. We're going to present him on to you at this very moment, Pastor Gino Janice. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we are thankful to the one God for his divine wisdom, <clears throat> his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him him alone for sending to us the prophets and we are indebted to him for sending to us his servants the apostles we certainly can bear witness there is no god but one Amen. as we often say he has no partners mm -hmm. <clears throat> we associate none with him mm -hmm. he is god alone Amen. master of all creation Amen. only one created the universe Amen. He didn't need no help. 
There is no three. No. I want this to be good because I've always get mail from Trinitarians, but lately the flow has been just a little bit more greater. There is no three. We just have one. And I'm telling you now, it's tough to obey him. That's right. <clears throat> so please don't burden me with two more. Amen. Brothers and sisters and television viewers, we are glad to come back in your home, in your office, in your church, your places of business, and your second wife's house, <laughs> and your pastor's cottage. <laughs> this is the greatest religious program in America today that has ever come out of a church. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some folks say you always say that, yes, and as long as we're on the air, <laughs> We always will. Amen. What makes this telecast so different? One thing. God is in it. That's it. That's the only thing that makes us different. That's right. It's not about Pastor Jennings. Mm -hmm. It's all about God. That's right. I'm just sent to call your attention to what the Lord has said. Amen. Mm -hmm. Viewers, I want to tell you. God has said quite a bit. Amen. We are now drawing close to the year of 2007. Mm -hmm. Time moves quickly, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It looks beautiful to see the many brothers and sisters that are here and those that are downstairs watching on the monitor that can't fit up here. Hmm. We can certainly say that uh, each year that I've come and gone, mm -hmm. we have experienced nothing less than progress. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's something that most churches can't say. Amen. <laughs> we have experienced much uh, progress, not just here in America, but uh, abroad. I want to greet the different television viewers uh, throughout America. And you that watch, watch around the world over the internet, you that hear this program around the world on radio, uh, we thank you much for the different letters that you have written in to us from so many places of the world, uh, your letters of appreciation, uh, thanking God for the telecast, your letters of hate, hmm. thanking uh, Satan. <laughs> uh, I want to thank uh, you that write us because uh, we love to know what the telecast is doing for you mm -hmm. and to you. Mm -hmm. Many of you have called in and I listen at your messages and I'm very grateful uh, for you that have called in and out of love, you have cussed us out. <clears throat> and out of appreciation for the program, you have called us all sorts of names. Amen. Uh, I want to encourage you to keep it up and <laughs> take it from 07 to 08. I give you time. Amen. Won't be for long, you'll end up in our arms, going down in water too. Amen. Right. In the name of the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> is a blessing when I think how one message mm -hmm. have captured the attention of so many thousands. Mm -hmm. uh, to my viewers in Jamaica, I'm back. The Lord bless us to get back uh, here in America safely. We have been to Jamaica, of course, countless of times. But this is the first time we helped one of the conventions of Jamaica in the capital of Jamaica uh, this year. The youth conference was held right in Kingston, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And it was the largest youth conference that we have had since we've been going to Jamaica. Amen. It was a very successful trip. Uh, we had a beautiful crowd every session. Amen. Ten went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And because of the overwhelming response, <laughs> Because of the overwhelming response we receive out of Jamaica, we are now working on opening up a temple, a local temple right in the capital of Jamaica, right in Kingston. And so we are thankful. We just want to update our viewers and you that are here what's been going on uh, throughout this year. What a devil, he's still the same. He's busy. Right. That's right. Isn't he? That's right. All of us have fights with the devil. That's right. And uh, no need to bring that new leaf talk to us. 
We're going to keep fighting him from this year right on to the next year. That's right. Right on to the next year and right on up, if God willing, to the Lord come. Uh, <coughs> already, this year is not even gone, but already the estimated figure of those that was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ already is 458 souls. Isn't <laughs> that a blessing? We, we, and that's not even including, we haven't got the figures out of England, we haven't got the figures out of the African province of the Mauritius Islands yet, uh, but this is just some of the foreign countries and even combined here in America, 458. That's larger than most people's congregation. Amen. And as I've been saying moreover, you preachers waste your time and talk about us and talk about First Church. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't baptized 10 people this year. <laughs> The best thing that you can do, there's a saying, if you can't beat them, <laughs> join them. Join them, that's right. That's why, isn't it? That's right. That's right. And it, I, I'm thankful because many people are surprised that so many people around the world will be captivated with such a hard, outspoken, direct, down-to-earth, hard-hitting, uncompromising message. Mm-hmm. And some have asked me, why is it people that are drawn to it? Well, there are those in the world that really want to be right. right. And there are many followers of religions that can see what the bishop can't. Mm -hmm. You know that all this junk that's going on in the churches is not of God. You know that. That's right. Many of you know it, but you're just afraid to speak openly about it. That's right. We're not afraid to speak openly about it. So we are thankful not just for those that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but those that have received the blessed gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Evidence speaking in tongue of the spirit of the living God to give utterance. Also, <coughs> uh, we got a letter from India kind of updating us of what's going on down there. When we went to India, of course, we had 20 churches. The number since we've been gone have moved up to 27. Mm. Uh, but we got a report now that the work uh, of the truth of God have went into an area called Trivandrum, which is the capital of Kerala, South India. Uh, the work have moved up in that area. Uh, also in some of the regions surrounding the area. Also another area is called Tamil Nadu, which is bordering Kerala. This is going up towards South India and Central India. The message have reached up to North India. Mm. And they're looking to meet us, God willing, February of 2008 at the uh, South Indian, South India Holy Convocation. So by the time we get back, God willing, we should have over 30 churches in South India. Amen. That's a blessing. I want to greet my television viewers throughout Connecticut mm -hmm. and also throughout the state of New York where we have God, through the grace of God, five television stations. New York, we thank God for you throughout the Carolinas and you that are watching throughout the Midwest, Amen. you that are watching on the West Coast, especially you that is in California in the wicked city of LA. Hmm. God willing, we're looking to be there. We are grateful for our new television station now, been on a few weeks. I believe on cable channel 25 in Atlanta, Georgia, every Monday from 3 to 4, if I'm not mistaken. I don't like that time, and I don't like that day. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ask you to uh, pray along with us that the Lord will put us on the weekend. Amen. Because we're in Atlanta, and I know that's a terror mm -hmm. to many Atlanteans. Amen. But uh, the truth of God have its foot there. And uh, we're looking by God's help to get other stations until we're covering all the state of Georgia. Yeah. Also, we're looking through God's help to put something in Columbia, South Carolina, God willing. Amen. That's the refuge churches of our Lord Jesus Christ, stomping ground. Hmm. Well, the truth of God want to come and stomp. <laughs> stomp heavy. That's right. Glory to God, until you look down, you can see our print right in the ground. That's right. Somebody say, oh, what you trying to do? We're not trying to do anything. In fact, we're not doing anything. The master of the day of creation. Oh, yes. He's doing it. He's doing it. 
So we are thankful. So February of 2008 is always the first convention of every year held in South India. And we are thankful for the work that is in the country of India. And to the brothers and sisters that are watching and listening, uh, we are already in Sierra Leone, West Africa. And to you that are listening to the radio broadcast tonight in Sierra Leone, West Africa, we greet all of you as well. We got a call from the brothers that we sent, of course, to uh, Nigeria. And we also sent them to Liberia. So God willing, in the month of October, we will be having a three-country tour. We will be in Sierra Leone, West Africa, then from there to Liberia, then from there to Nigeria. <coughs> Hanging and banging in West Africa, killing everything that don't even look like God. Amen. We're out to kill it hmm. and out to bring a resurrection yes. and a revolution to Africa. Yes. Right. So I want to say, oh, this man talking bloodshed. No, 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 no. <laughs> we believe in revolution. Yeah. Right. That's what Jesus preached. Yeah. That's right. The word revolution just simply means to be converted. That's right. Revolution means change. change. If you don't believe in revolution, you don't believe in God. That's right. God is a God of revolution. Oh, yeah. And the thing that needs to be revolutionized is the world. Oh, yes. As you can see, the scriptures are constantly being fulfilled every day. Mm -hmm. You think of the woman that was running for office over in Pakistan, assassinated, yeah. and the year is not even gone. Amen. And the lives of millions are still being taken through yeah. violence sicknesses. Yeah. Why is the world in the condition that it's in? Because the world have a constant rejection for God. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Why is America in the condition that she's in? Mm -hmm. Because America is a constant rejection yeah. for God. Mm -hmm. Hypocritically, they talk about God. <laughs> right. Hypocritically, they say in God we trust. That's right. It is printed on the money. It is printed in the courthouse. Mm -hmm. But America don't trust God. America trusts themselves. That's right. Because if America truly trusts God, mm -hmm. then America will look to God's word. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Before they make any decision. Yes. America will look to the words of God to get the counsel of God. That's right. If you read the scriptures, even the wicked kings, they knew God wasn't dealing with them. That's right. But to be on the safe side, they knew either within the kingdom or in the nearby regions, there was a prophet of the Lord. That's right. Even Ahab, yeah. the one that sold himself. Mm-hmm. He knew there was a prophet around named Micaiah. Mm -hmm. And when he got 400 false prophets to impress the king Jehoshaphat, mm -hmm. Jehoshaphat asked, is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides, besides what? Besides all these liars you have here. That's right. When even Ahab had to confess, well, Jehoshaphat, there, there's one man. Mm -hmm. he, ain't, he ain't in none of those 400. But there is one man, Micaiah, the son of Embla, by whom we may inquire the word of the Lord. But Ahab expresses feelings about him, and he said, I hate him. I hate him. Why do you hate him, uh, Ahab? Because that fella don't speak nothing good concerning me. That's right. But evil. That's right. The way Ahab feel about Micaiah is the way many viewers feel about us. That's right. You feel as though we don't have nothing good to say about you. Well, we have to preach the truth. That's right. And truth don't always feel good, does it? No. It don't always make you feel good, does it? No, no. no way. It don't always make me feel good, viewer. Amen. Someone say, you don't act like it. That's all right. Hmm. I'm hurting. That's right. <laughs> yes. I'm hurting, I say. You see all these men in here smiling and whatnot, but I guarantee every last one of them is hurting. Oh, yeah. Am I right, brother? Yeah. Glory to God. 
Amen. You see, Brother Williams, he got the word of God in his hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you heard no, ain't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Some of those scriptures you wish you didn't read, did you? Amen. Because it slapped you, don't it? Oh, yeah. Don't you feel it? Amen. So, viewers, oh, yeah. this program is designed to mm -hmm. open your eyes. Amen. Many of you write me and say, well, <coughs> you sound mean and hateful. Hmm. Ignore the way I sound. Right. I don't pay that no mind. Don't let the devil use the way I sound as an excuse. That's right. I am not sent to be your buddy. No. I am not sent to try to make you my friend. Right. I am not sent by any means to try to encourage you to love me. I am sent to tell you what God said. That's it. And to let you understand that you have two alternatives. Obey God, Obey God and be accepted with him. Right. Reject God mm -hmm. and go to hell. That's it. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's it. Let me repeat myself in case some of the stations got static. <laughs> That's right. All them blacked out. Amen. I am not sent <laughs> to make friends. No. If you love me, thank you. Mm -hmm. If you hate me, Thank you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I am not sent for you to, you know, baby me or, mm -hmm. you know, write me letters of encouragement. I'm not sent for that. That's right. If you read the book of scriptures, God sent men to the world or to a nation or to a kingdom to warn them. That's it. That's right. To admonish them. That's right. To resurrect them. To That's uncover it. their dirt. Go ahead, brother. Let them know the consequences of their sins. That's right. God have never sent a prophet in the old time. Mm -hmm. God have never sent a prophet or an apostle in this day and time. Mm -hmm. Just so people can like him. Amen. That's not the mission. That's right. The mission is equivalent to the mission that God gave Noah. Mm -hmm. Noah was sent to build an ark. The preacher is sent to build an ark. That's right. Just the material is a little bit different. That's right. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. God sent Noah to build an ark, mm -hmm. instructed him, go for his wood. Use that. Use that. God sent men today mm -hmm. to build an ark, mm -hmm. but the ark consists of flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. That's right. He sent to build a people. That's it. Now, television viewer, That's <coughs> it. our job is to feed your mind. Go ahead, go hmm? ahead, go ahead. You show me a person who's not being fed mentally by the word of God, and I'll show you a man and a woman that's dead spiritually. Dead. Amen. When you're not fed mentally, you're not fed spiritually. So what stage are you left to be in? Mm -hmm. Dead. Dead. That's right. You go to church. Singing and clapping and yeah. jumping and shouting and running all around the church like you in the Indiana 500. That's right. People are falling out now yeah. while somebody in back of you catching you. Amen. Your pastor now got his hands on somebody's head, mugging them to the floor. That's right. Somebody wrote me a letter called themselves rebuking me. <laughs> oh, Lord. They rebuked me for not having a prayer line. You know, some of you folk lay me out and rebuke me over things that I don't do mm -hmm. because it's not scriptural. No scriptures for it. I agree that we can never pray enough. Right. And we believe in prayer. Yes, sir. Uh, certainly we do. Certainly. But uh, I don't call for prayer lines. No. Someone said, our church do. Don't I know it. Amen. But if you read the book of scriptures, mm -hmm. it never advised the preacher to call for a prayer line. No. It tells you that are sick, you call for the elders of the church. Let and let call. the elders pray over you, anointing you with oil. That's right. So no, I don't do the prayer line thing. <laughs> That's In other right. words, I don't call for it. You don't call for if it. If people come up for prayer, mm -hmm. I'll pray for them. Amen. But if God don't hear you, don't bother me. Yeah. 
I thought you were a healer. Oh, I'm not a healer. No, no. There's one healer, and that's God. That's God. That's right. I'm not a healer. That's right. Go ahead. I'm out of, you know, you know, there was a man, I believe, that was born lame, and uh, when the apostles spoke the word of the Lord and God healed the man, mm -hmm. they tried to credit the apostles. Try to credit him. That's right. As being the healer. Yeah. But uh, the apostles let them know it wasn't by our power. That's right. Or, bo or, or by our Holy Ghost. Our holiness. It wasn't by our holiness. Holiness. Isn't that what they said? That's right. Hey, I, I want to straighten this healing thing out real straighten quick. And that then out. Uh, That's right. we get busy. That's right. Are you ready? Amen. All right, let's go to work. Acts chapter 3, we'll go to verse 10. Listen. And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. Yes. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. You better him. go up above that so we can see what happened. At verse 6. All right. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. Silver and gold I don't have. But such as I have hey, give wait, I thee. Wait, wait, just a minute now. Mm -hmm. You know they ain't like the preachers of the day. Oh, no. <laughs> the apostles come telling you, well, I don't have no money. Don't have none. These preachers today the tell you you can't reach God unless you got money. That's right. You know they ain't like the ones here. <laughs> That's right. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. Give I thee. Give I thee. In the name of Jesus the Christ. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, go ahead. That blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God I want to start Straight off slapping you right over to 2008. <laughs> That's right. I want to slap you slap right you from over. 2007 right into 2008. That's right. The apostle didn't do what your preacher's doing. No, he didn't. Listen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Am I right? Go ahead, brother. The yeah, apostles didn't do, church, Go ahead. what you were doing. That's right. Never at no time did the apostles go to anyone that was sick That's true. or ill or had any condition. That's right. And said over them the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. At no time did they put blood upon the illness. The blood is against you. No, no. The blood is against you. No. The blood is against you. No. Cut no. that stuff out. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. The scriptures told us why blood was shed. That's right. You better shift gears shift. and move over to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter, one. chapter 1. Chapter 1. And verse, verse 7. seven. At verse 7. Let's see what the blood was shed for. Then we'll go back to where we were. Ephesians 1 and at verse 7. Listen. In whom we have redemption. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood. And what? The forgiveness of sins. That's why blood was shed. That's right. For the redemption of blood and for the forgiveness of sins. That's right. You are not supposed to go to anyone that's sick or possessed of the devil and start yelling, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. That's the right. blood of Jesus. That's right. The blood of Jesus. Amen. I want to teach you and educate you so you can be a nice reverend. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you getting the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Listen. Back in Acts chapter 3 and verse 6. All right. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. Then Peter said, silver and gold I don't have. But such as I have, give I thee. That I give you. In the name, in the name of, Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, of Nazareth. rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. Yeah. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Mm -hmm. And he leaping up stood and walked and ended with them into the temple. Uh -huh. Walking and leaping and praising God. Yeah. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Mm -hmm. And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. Yeah. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Yeah. And as the lame man which was healed. As the lame man that was healed. Held Peter and John. He helped. He looked at Peter and John. All the people all ran to the unto people them. did what? Ran together unto them. They ran to Peter and John. They didn't run to God. No. I want you to see I'm not a healer. That's right. So if I pray for you and you don't get healed, don't blame me. That's right. Hmm? That's don't right. blame me. That's right. Listen. All the people ran, to, ran together unto them. Yes. In the porch that is in called Solomon's greatly wondering. And what? And when Peter saw it. When Peter saw it. He answered unto the people. Oh, you see, Peter knew what was going on. That's right. Peter knew that Peter was about to get caught up right into them. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Peter blocked that stuff. And when Peter saw when it. When Peter saw it. He answered unto the people. He answered and said to the people. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of Israel. Why marvel ye why at this? Why are you surprised at this? Or why look ye why so earnestly? are you looking so, so earnestly, earnestly on us? Amen. Why are you looking so earnestly on us? On us. As though. As though. By our own power. By our. 
own power. Or holiness. Or holiness. We had made this man to walk. Amen. As if by our holiness. Right. Or by our power. By our power. We didn't do this. The God of Abraham. Glory to God. Amen. That's who you should credit. The God of Abraham. The God of Abraham. And of Isaac. Isaac. And of Jacob. Israel. The God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. Hath glorified his son he Jesus. He glorified his son Jesus. Whom ye delivered, whom he up, delivered up. And denied him in the presence of Pilate. And denied him in the presence of Pilate. When he was determined to let him go. So all the credit goes to God. That's right. That's why the truth of God is so successful. There's a divine wind behind this cell. There's a wind. That's right. There's a wind behind it. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's a Russian mighty wind. Hallelujah. That's right. And it's blowing beautifully from one Hallelujah. state to the other, from one country to the other, one country to the other. That's right. In a day like the day, almost 500 souls going down in water hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ in almost a year's time. In Amen. a day like the day. Amen. God, why? Why is this thing so effective? We do it God's way. That's it. What is God's way? That's God right. say, if I be lifted up. up from the earth. Draw Hallelujah. Men Glory to God. That's from right. the earth. I'll draw all, all men. men. All men. Do it God's way. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Some of my jealous men out there say, all oh, them people, they wish up Pastor Dennis. No, they no. don't wish up me. Oh, no. No, we wish up God. That's right. I don't even wish up myself. I wish up God. That's right. This is the truth of God program. That's right. I've been telling you, this is not Gino Ministries or <laughs> Gino and Darlene Ministries or Gino and Williams Ministry. Not that. <laughs> oh, no. This God. thing is of God. It's of God. In fact, Jesus came here for the truth of God. That's right. You better go there. That's right. I, I, I want to I wanna just... <laughs> Kind of plant my feet real good. Romans 15 and verse 8. All right, viewers, get this. Now I say, I say that Jesus Christ. That Gino. Jesus Christ. No, I say that Gino. Now I say that Jesus Christ. Come on now, Will. Hmm. I say that Gino Jenner. I say that Jesus Christ. Do you hear that, hardhead? <laughs> That's right. That's I right. say that Jesus Christ was a minister. Was a minister. Of the circumcision. For what? For the truth of God. For the truth of God. That's what this is. That's right. That's what make it different That's from right. your church. Villa, That's right. I promise you. I promise you. Ahead, if you watch this program, Go ahead. you will hear something every time you turn it on. Amen. That you won't learn in your church. That's right. You won't even learn it. That's right. Even you that follow men that say they are apostles. Amen. Even you that follow men that say they are apostles. That's right. If he's an apostle, then he should be able to dive in Ezekiel, Daniel, Nahum, Nehemiah, Revelation. That's and right. Strip it bare to the bone. That's right. Should be able to. Take it apart. Amen. Am I right? I say. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. That's right. Must be able. Amen. Truly. Hallelujah. The signs of an apostle. Glory to God. Go ahead. Do you hear what the word of God says? In 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 12. Truly the signs of an apostle. Were wrought among you. Were wrought among you. In all patience. In all patience. In signs. In signs. And wonders. And wonders. And mighty deeds. And mighty deeds. That's now, right. let me straighten this out. Because mm. I've heard some of you brothers on radio said, mm. to be an apostle, mm. you must resurrect the dead. That's yes. a lie. Amen. No. Amen. Oh, and say, when all the apostles resurrected dead. No, they did not. Not all of them. Not all of them. Word of God ain't said that. No, sir. no, no, it didn't. They didn't say that. That's true. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. No, it didn't say that. That's right. I didn't read where Barnabas resurrect nobody. Nobody. No. I didn't read where Mark resurrect nobody. That's right. I didn't read where James resurrect nobody. That's right. I mean physically. Physically. That's huh? it. That's it. Make it but there is one form of resurrection that all of them have. Go ahead. Go ahead. And it's in the power of the word. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Oh, Hallelujah. yes. Glory to God. Oh, That's right. yes. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. God sends a preacher and Amen. give him resurrection power. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. I said God sends a preacher and give him resurrection power. That's right. That's Enough right. power to resurrect a nation. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Resurrect kings. Oh, yes. Resurrect the poor. That's right. And the rich. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Resurrect the mind and the spirit of the people. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what a real revival is. Real revival. That's right. It's a resurrection gathering. That's right. That's right. It's the gathering of the dead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. That comes together. Go ahead. To hear a trumpet. That's right. For the resurrection. Go ahead. Go ahead. Watch it. Viewer, what you see now, we're in a revival. In a revival. That's right. (laughs) We're in a revival. That's right. Hey, man, we're in a revival. We have a lot of folk that's dead. Dead. Amen. Amen. Thank God. And God wouldn't give Gabriel the trumpet. No, no. No, God wouldn't give the trumpet to Gabriel to blow. No. And resurrect nobody. No, no. But he did seem fit to give us a trumpet. That's right. That's right. I wouldn't say, well, who are you? Well, I'm nothing. I'm not much. Amen. I'm just a little, itty bitty, God called and God sent and God taught preacher. That's right. That's it. Amen. And he gave me a trumpet that has resurrection power. Oh, yes. This is why this trumpet is being blown Mm -hmm. around the world. That's right. And every place where the sound of God, not the sound of Jennings. No. Every place where the sound of God is being blown, I see graves opening up. That's right. And people coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take God. Go ahead. I see him coming, I say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The prophet said, tell the north. Go ahead, give up. They give up. Let That's right. Go. That's right. And the south. Keep not back. Keep not back. Go ahead. Bring my sons from far oh. and my daughters from the ends of Hallelujah. the earth. Even everyone that is called by my Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. That's right. Even God said, look unto Hallelujah. me Amen. all the ends of the earth Hallelujah. and be ye saved. That's right. Oh, yes. Go ahead. God, I've been telling you for years. Go ahead. Go this ahead. is all about God. That's it. That's it. Don't waste your time and get upset with me. This is all about God. It's about God. That's it. That's all right. right. I want to talk about the resurrection, God willing. The resurrection. Amen. You want to die second and take die it second. apart. That's right. That's right. Better give me the prophet Ezekiel, the son of Bullseye. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37. Yes. And begin reading at verse 1. All right, television viewers. Mm-hmm. Get your Bibles. Get your book of scriptures. Get them. That's it. Don't even go to church. You ain't missing nothing. <laughs> That's right. Don't even go. I go there was a uh, there was a preacher in Jamaica who said he got up and testified how his church service started at nine thirty, but I would telecast go off at nine thirty, mm-hmm. and he stays there and make sure he get every drop of it, <laughs> every drop of it. I want to greet Elder Robinson also of. Um, uh, of Jamaica and also Elder Johnson mm-hmm. and the different brothering down there that came. We met quite a bit of preachers there. Amen. Some preachers even came from the Holy Temple, the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Gentleman got up and spoke well about it. I didn't know he was listening to me since the 1990s. Mm. And he had, he said how he never met a preacher that have such knowledge and in-depth understanding about the word of God. And this man owed him to be my father. Yeah. Well, the word of God to speak for itself. That's right. Want to do so? That's right. All right, viewers, let's go to work in the book of scriptures. Follow me now. If you're getting dressed for church, slow down. Slow down. Amen. Slow down. That's right. Listen, you, you might as well just go on and put your grits on and throw that cheese in there. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God and turn that down low while your fish is frying in the frying pan. Amen. Go ahead and get your orange juice. Yeah. And just come on and go to church right in front of your screen. That's right. That's right. You you that are at home at night tonight. tonight. You that are watching me tonight. Amen. You that are watching me tonight, just, just get your dinner together. That's right. Sit around the television. Yeah. Thank God because we're going to give you something by God's permission mm-hmm. that you know your preacher didn't give you. <laughs> That's right. I couldn't give you. I couldn't. That's right. Hmm? That's right. All right, listen. Come on, Sam. Ezekiel chapter 37 and at verse 1. What is it? The hand of the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. My God, just a few words sound good. That's right. That's right. The hand of the Lord. That's what I want. It is written in the first chapter of the book of Revelation, and he laid his right hand upon me. That's right. 
and the right hand was seven stars, the hand of the Lord, the Lord. or the presence Hallelujah. of the Lord. The hand of the Lord mm -hmm. was upon me. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Give me a man whom the hand of God is upon. That's it. I don't care nothing about how much you yell or scream or hobble around or hobble around. jump like James Brown and moonwalk like Mr. Jackson. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Give me someone whom the hand, hand of, of the Lord, Lord is upon. That's right. That's what I want. That's it. I don't care how large a congregation is. I don't care how small. That's right. I want someone whom the hand of the, of Lord. the Lord is upon. Is upon me. That's if right. the hand of the Lord is upon the preacher, then God deal with him. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen. The hand of the Lord was upon me. And? And carried me out. Glory to God. Amen. The hand of the Lord was upon me. And carried me out. And carried me out. Out. Mm. In the spirit of the Lord. What? In the spirit of the Lord. Listen. It's wonderful. That's what's missing. That's what's missing. In the pulpit. That's right. Spirit. Preacher. Spirit. You got to be carried out. Carried out. Carry right. out of what? Spirit. You got to be carried out of out. self. That's it. That's right. See, if God's going to carry you out, carry he's carrying you out of one thing and placing you in something else. That's right. That's right. Listen at this. And carried me out. Carried me out. In the spirit of the Lord. See, if God don't carry you out, carry you need out. help from your notebook for your message. That's right. God, God ain't carry you out. That's right. God ain't carry you out. I see you the PhD and the DD and the LLD studying so-called biblical theology. That's right. And biblical philosophy. philosophy. That's right. God ain't carried you out. No, no. Carried me out. God, the pro I know the prophet had to feel good to be able to bear witness to this. Oh, yes. Just to be able to testify you was carried out carried by out. God. That's right. Mm -hmm. And carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. Yes. And set me down. Set me down. Gave you a foundation. That's right. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the valley. In the midst of the valley. Which was full of bones. Glory to God. Amen. Full of bones. I want to take my time and dissect this. Yeah. Many men mm -hmm. have supposedly preached from this. Amen. Oh, yeah. The dry bones. Dry bones. Yeah. Amen. <coughs> we want to get in depth mm -hmm. of the meaning Amen. of the dry bones. Yeah. Amen. Listen good. And set me down in the midst of the valley. Yes. Which was full of bones. Uh -huh. And he caused me to pass by them round about. Now, he caused me to pass by them round about. In other words, before I give you a command to do anything, mm -hmm. I first want you to observe. Observe. That's right. Notice your surroundings. That's right. Look around. Notice the condition that's, that's that right. they are in. Mm -hmm. Note, I want you to notice how they are laying. Amen. Notice what condition, what state they're in. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he caused me to pass by them round about. Caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. There were very many in the open valley. Lo, they were very dry. Dry. Very Viewers, dry. do you know what that means? Amen. Viewers, Go ahead, Viewers, do you know what it means that very, they were very, very dry? Very dry. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, if they are very dry, mm -hmm. then they've been laid out in the sun for a long time. That's right. Until the sun deprived the bones of its moisture. That's right. That's the way you are. Amen. Very dry. I'm surveying America mm -hmm. and the world and seeing dry bones. Amen. No water, meaning no, no life. That's right. No spirit. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. For this picky of the spirit when he was at the woman of the well, at the well. At the, at the well. Mm -hmm. And he addressed the spirit as living water. Living water. Living water. Here you had bones that were dry. Very, very dry. Very dry. Mm -hmm. Television viewers, mm -hmm. you're very dry today. Oh, yes. This is what you call having church when you got a good choir mm -hmm. just singing and dancing. Mm -hmm. You say you're having church. Sure All is. right. <laughs> you got a bunch of musicians just Amen. playing music. Mm -hmm. People running up and down the aisle, falling out, foaming at the mouth. Yeah. Head jerking. <laughs> That's right. Eyes rolling. That's right. 
People being covered with sheets like they DOA? That's right. <laughs> That's true. So they call all that activity we have in church. Church. To understand church. Church is equivalent to the solar system itself. To better understand me, God bears the title S U N. For the Lord God. Glory to God. In the book of Psalms 84 and at verse 11. You see, we can't plan. Oh, no. No way. Someone said, Well, how do he know? The same spirit that's in them supposed to be in him. That's right. That's right. Let me see, do we have it right? Let's see if the spirit working. Come on, William. Psalms 84 and verse 11. What is it? For the Lord God is a S-U-N. The Lord God is a S-U-N. It didn't say he is the son. Yeah. No. No. The reason why I couldn't say he is the son because mm -hmm. the son in the universe is created. That's right. That's right. But it says he is a, a son. son. Mm -hmm. God is a, a. S-U-N. That's right. Why do he have the title son? Son. Mm -hmm. For him to have the title son or to understand the characteristics of this title, find out the nature of the son. That's right. If you look at the sun, all planets must evolve around this great light. That's right. That's right. Plant life mm -hmm. is resurrected mm -hmm. and also slain Amen. by the same source. Amen. That's right. At its appointed time, each planet mm -hmm. take part mm -hmm. in sunlight. So, that's true. And at its appointed time, each planet mm -hmm. spends its time mm -hmm. in darkness. That's true. But whenever the sun come to shine on the planet, mm -hmm. darkness gradually Amen. goes away. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. God is a, a sun. The church a sun. is a divine solar system. Amen. That's right. And it must evolve mm -hmm. around God. Around God. That's right. And just like the natural planets, mm -hmm. when the sun hits the planet's surface, Amen. gradually and slowly, slowly, darkness fade away. That's right. Whenever one come to God in darkness, in darkness, that's right. When they are exposed to the power of the light of God, mm -hmm. gradually, gradually and slowly, the shadow of darkness. That's right. Slowly is moved That's right. from the mind and replaced That's right. by the light of God. That's, That's right. Are you listening? First Kings 8 and at verse 12. What is it? Then spake Solomon. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said. The Lord said. That he would dwell. He will dwell. In thick darkness. See, God is ever working in the darkness. That's right. Ever working. Not that God is created in darkness. That's it. He dwells. Dwell. In darkness. Someone said, well, how can God dwell in darkness when the book says there is no darkness in him at all? At all. Mm -hmm. That's different. All right. Go ahead. You better balance out both. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's That's balance right. out both. That's right. This is the type of preaching viewers you're not used to. That's right. I want to balance out the book of testament. First in Kings 8 and verse 12. Listen at this real good. Then spake Solomon. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said that he, the would, Lord dwell said he would dwell in thick darkness. In thick darkness. Thick darkness. All right, then what the apostle says. St. John chapter 1 and at verse 5. What is it? This then is the message which we have heard of him uh -huh. and declare unto you that God is light. God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. God is light. Mm -hmm. In him. And in him is no darkness at all. There is no darkness. At all? At all. No darkness at all? No darkness at all. Now, there is no darkness in him. In him. That's right. None in him. That's right. What do you mean? No contamination. That's right. No sin. That's right. No flaw. Mm -hmm. No error. That's right. There's none in him. In him. 
But King said he would dwell, dwell in the thick darkness. In thick and he said that darkness will dwell in him. No. The Lord said that he would dwell. See, he will come and dwell in the darkness. In thick darkness. But the darkness won't dwell in him. That's right. That's right. And when God come in you, viewer, he stepped in darkness. Yes, he did. That's true. Are you listening? That's right. When God come in us, he stepped in the darkness. That's right. But the darkness is not in him. Not in him. That's right. He come step in the darkness. For what? To cast away the that's, darkness. That's right. Go ahead. God, for him to cast away the darkness, it will go away gradually. Gradually. That's and right. for that to happen, light has to come. How? Precept. Precept upon precept. Upon precept. Line upon line. Line, line. upon line. Here a little. Here a little. The there first little. place where the light here hits the ear. That's right. See, it got to hit the ear. It don't hit the mind first. No. No. No, no. It can't hit the mind first. It got to hit the ear. That's right. Once the light hit the ear, then it gives the mind something to think about. That's yeah. right. Then after it hit the ear, it resurrects the ear, then it bothers the mind. Yeah. That's right. Then the mind starts thinking about what the light has said. Go ahead. Then the heart starts becoming emotionally involved. That's right. And what the mind is thinking and what the ear have heard. Go ahead. Then the body can act out what the ear have heard, Go the ahead. mind have thought, and what the heart felt. That's right. And the body can act it out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go, ahead. Go back to the book of Ezekiel. Back in Ezekiel 37 and at verse 2. You preachers have taught the people for years. Mm -hmm. The first thing to do to get in the church is repent. repent. Wrong. Wrong. No. No. That no. is not the first thing to do to get in the church. No way. Even the second chapter of the book Acts. of Acts tell you they've done something before they yeah. repented. That's right. When, when they, they heard, heard, heard this. What? When they heard this. Did you hear that? Acts 2 and verse 37. There wasn't no repentance done until they heard something. Th that's right. God, Peter was Amen. preaching the word with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. Amen. Huh? Amen. Reaching all back, getting the prophet David. That's right. Quoting what David said what about said. Jesus, thou shalt not leave my soul in hell. Mm -hmm. Neither suffer the Holy One to see corruption. That's right. Then when they begin to hear the yeah. message that God gave the apostle, mm -hmm. when they heard this, this, they were pricked in their heart. Yeah, you see that? That's right. Got to hear. Got to hear it. Then that stuff started registering with the heart. That's right. Then the body acted out. They that gladly receive his word, were they were baptized. That's right. All right, go back to the book of Ezekiel, son. Back in Ezekiel 37 and at verse 2. Everybody all right? Yeah. Amen. Listen. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. Uh -huh. and, and lo, they were very dry. Yeah. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? Glory to God. Amen. Ask the question. Ask yeah. the question. Can these bones live? Live. Live. Read on. Son of man, can these bones live? Yes. And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Lord, you know. Again, he you said. You know what it takes mm -hmm. to bring life to bones. They have no flesh. That's right. No muscle. That's right. They all dry. Mm -hmm. They're not even all put together. Yeah. No. Listen at this. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Yes. And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Now, here. It takes a message oh, yes. to resurrect oh, yeah. the dead. That's right. That's right. He didn't advise Ezekiel to sing. <laughs> no, he didn't. To the bones. <laughs> Did he? No, he didn't. Good teaching. He didn't go to Ezekiel and tell him go out and touch all the bones. And touch them. Amen. Not That's at all. Right. That's right. But there was a particular message. Amen. That fell under a particular title. Mm -hmm. The what? Prophesy upon these bones. Prophesy. Prophesy. That's it. Bring. It takes the word of God for the resurrection of the dead to connect and to unite that which separated from God. That's right. You better read on. I want to get to the condition of the bones. Prophesy upon these bones. Yes. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, yeah. hear the word of the Lord. What? Then saith the Lord God unto these bones, uh -huh. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Now. Verse, mm. in order to live, mm -hmm. 
The center of worship mm -hmm. have to be the message. Must be. That's right. That's it. That's right. I don't care how many people go to church. No. I don't care how jump you shout. I don't care. You can run the church and let anybody ordain you. That's right. If God don't put his message in your mouth, That's you're going to be dead without a minister's license. You're going to be right. dead when you get that license. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's true. You got to have That's the true. message from God to resurrect the people That's right. from that dead. What you mean be resurrected? That's right. If I'm dead in sin. The man that covered mm -hmm. with the filth mm -hmm. of behavior. That's right. Covered with the filth of thought. Covered with the filth of sin. That's right. Deep in sin. Mm -hmm. There got to be a strong force that's able to pull me up out of those mounds and that's mounds right. and mounds of dirt that have right. been packed. That's right. Upon me. Amen. Amen. Listen at the book. Prophesy upon these bones. And? And say unto them, O ye dry o bones. O ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of God. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. What? Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. I will cause breath. Mm -hmm. The messenger is there. Yeah. That's right. That goes to show you, you're not having no church unless you got the message there. That's right. Got to be there. Are you getting me, Bill? Behold, I will cause breath. Glory to God. Have you noticed Ezekiel is not saying he's going to do anything? No. If you look closely at the message. Thus saith the Lord God. Everything the Lord said. That's I'm going right. to do this. I'm gonna, Ezekiel not saying he's going to do nothing. That's true. In fact, when Ezekiel is, when Ezekiel is questioned, mm -hmm. he responds, thou knowest. Thou knowest. What do you mean? I ain't got nothing to do with it, Lord. That's right. I ain't That's got true. nothing to do with it. That's right. Why are you asking me? Thou That's knowest. Right. Thou don't knowest. ask me. Amen. Why? You the preacher, Lord. That's right. Huh? That's right. Well, Ezekiel, you prophesy, but mm -hmm. I can't prophesy. I'm just a prophet. That's, that's right. Huh? That's right. The act of prophecy, you got to do. You got to do that. Within the prophet. Amen. You get what I'm telling you? Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. What is it? Behold, I will cause breath. I will cause breath. To enter into you. To enter into you. And ye shall live. And ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you. Now, viewer, mm -hmm. what is the breath of God? Breath. The breath of God is the message of God. That's right. So if God said I will cause breath. Breath to enter into it you. It takes the message of God to resurrect the dead, and then dress them. That's right. That's right. And stand you on your feet. That's yeah. right. That's right. Without the resurrection message. Message. <laughs> That's true. Without the resurrection message. Amen. I can never be resurrected with, ain't that all right? No. <laughs> ain't that all right? No. 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 Shall remain. In fact, you're killing me more. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's right. I can't be resurrected with that. No. I can't be resurrected with, let the church say amen. No. Let the church say amen. Oh, let no. the church say amen. Let amen. the church say amen. No. Oh, no. You're killing me more. Killing. Yeah. Killing. That's right. I can never come back to life, hold the neighbor's hand and say something. No, no, no. When the neighbor's just as dead as I am. That's right. That's right. You're connecting corpse to corpse. Amen. Amen. Congregation of the dead. I can never be resurrected trying to serve three gods. No, never. You preachers Go ahead. are part of the problem. Go ahead. The reason why so many folks is dead today yeah. because Satan has placed the murderer in the pulpit. That's right. That's right. You're That's murderers. Right. murderers. Amen. Go ahead. If it takes the word of the Lord to resurrect the people, mm -hmm. how do you expect for the people to live? Go ahead. Without the message from God. Without the message. That's right. Now. That's right. You say, well, I'm alive because I repented of my sins and I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and I have the Holy Ghost <laughs> speaking in other tongues. That's right. Other tongues. Other tongues. Those other tongues. <laughs> That's right. And I'm alive. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. 
I'm going to show you what happened to you. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of John. Mm -hmm. Give me Lazarus. That's right. We're going to deal with the resurrection Amen. of the dead. Amen. For those of you that are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, mm -hmm. jumping and prancing around in some church, yelling, we got yelling. the truth. We got the truth. <laughs> we got right. the truth. That's right. All right. All right. Amen. We're going to see. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm, I'm no longer dead. Now I'm free. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm going to show you what happened to you. That's right. St. John chapter 11. Listen. And begin reading at verse 39. Glory to God. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister <laughs> of him that was dead, yeah. saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinking. By this time, Lazarus is stinking. For he hath been dead, been four, dead days. four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, what? that if thou wouldst believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Yes. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And what? And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee mm -hmm. that thou hast heard me. Yeah. And I knew that thou hearest me always. Yeah. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Mm -hmm. And when he had thus spoken, when he, had thus spoken he cried with a loud voice, and what? Lazarus, come forth. You see that? And always you got to have the voice of God. Always. To get the dead responding. That's right. You got to have the voice of God to get always. the dead responding. That's right. Huh? And when he had thus spoken. Jesus was the instrument of God. That's right. The Messiah was the instrument of God. Amen. Huh? Amen. He was like the horn, but God was the wind. That's right. Blowing in that horn. That's right. And then the dead was able to come forth. That's right. Listen. And when he had thus spoken, when he, thus spoke, he cried with a loud he cried voice. With a loud voice. Lazarus, Lazarus come, forth. come forth. And he that was dead, he that was dead, came forth. What? Bound hand and foot with grave clothes. Here you are, baptized Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. Jumping and shouting in some apostolic church. Jumping and shouting. But this is how as far as you have gotten. Bound hand and foot with grave The clothes. preacher was able to bring you out of the world. That's right. That's right. That's the truth. That's, That's right. right. That's he had a message to bring you out the world. You went to the water, been baptized. <laughs> Tear right. it till you receive the blessed Holy Ghost with the mighty burning fire. Amen. But now you're still standing at the sepulcher. That, that's right. That's right. But the only thing the preacher can do for you is preach water and spirit and nothing else. Bound. You're still handicapped. Bound. That's right. You're still handicapped. That's right. That's true. Lazarus rose from the dead. He that was dead came forth. But Lazarus, when he rose, Bound. he still was not totally free. That's right. That's right. Bound. Hand he was... Resurrected from the dead. Amen. He was alive. That's right. You know, like you folk be testifying, mm -hmm. going off in your tongues, waving your hands. Yeah. That's right. But there's still a problem. That's yeah. right. What happened? Bound hand and foot with Bound grave clothes. Bound hands and foot. This is your condition, apostolic churches. That's right. Bound. You're baptized. Mm -hmm. You're speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. But your hands and feet are bound. bound. That's why you're not able to travel nowhere in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's right. That's right. You're not able to go nowhere. Amen. Bound. Your feet still bound. Bound. That's right. When it comes to analyzing the book of Revelation, bound. bound. I can't walk there. That's right. That's right. When it comes to breaking down the mark of the beast, go ahead, I can't go there. Bound. Can't even touch it. Can't touch that. That's true. That's Still true. in the principles. Amen. Still in the beginning stages. That's right. And some of you is messed up on that. Amen. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Bound, bound hand, hand and, and foot. foot and what else? With grave clothes and his face. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Therefore, his vision was not clear. That's right. Out of the world. Baptized, have the Holy, have Ghost, the Holy Ghost, but I'm still face bound. Face bound. Now the preacher back. can't teach me nothing else. That's right. After you get me out the world, preacher, That's right. you got to teach me how to untie my hands. Amen. How to untie my feet. Go ahead. Go ahead. How to pull off these gray clothes. That's right. That's right. You understand? That's right. Do it to me. Yes, that's right. You got to show me. That's right. 
how to pull off these grain clothes. That's right. That's it. That's that's right. This is where some of you is messed up. That's right. You got the right baptism. That's right. You got the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's right. Hand still bound. Hand and foot. Preacher can set you free bound. now. That's right. That's true. No growth. That's true. Feet tied. Amen. Hey, still got the grand clothes on. That's right. But yet I've been resurrected from the dead. Amen. Came forth. I came forth. Came forth. That's right. I came forth. That's right. That's right. Oh yes. Oh yes. I came forth. That's right. But now, preacher, now. you gotta help him. That's it. You can't Hallelujah. set the captive free Go ahead. and you not free yourself. That's right. Go God ahead. give you a message Go ahead. of freedom. freedom. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? And he that was dead came forth. What you mean? You got to be, he got to have a total message. That's it. If the only thing he is able to preach is against remarriage and divorce, what about people that got other conditions? Amen. Amen. The only thing he can preach against is being gay. What about other conditions? That's right. That's true. Are you listening? That's right. He That's got true. to have a well-rounded message. Well-rounded message. Oh, yeah. Where he can untie the hands. Yes. Of those that came forth. That's right. Untie the hands. That's right. Untie the feet. That's right. And then get the napkin. Amen. Bound about with the napkin. See, when he rolls... Face was bound. His face bound about with a napkin. Was bound. That's right. Now, that's right. If my faith, face, my face is bound. Yes. I gotta have a qualified leader. Go ahead, brother. To lead me because Go I ahead. can't see. Can't see. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I can't see. Can't see. Amen. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. I can't see. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. That's why you're having the scriptures. Go ahead. Overseer. Overseer. That's right. That's why you got in the scriptures. Go ahead. Overseer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Many of you brothers are called overseer. Yes. But you can't see the problem. You see over That's the right. problem. That's right. That's true. That's true. Go you ahead. see right over it. That's Amen. Go ahead. You Amen. only got enough mm. to resurrect me from the dead. From the dead. And now I'm standing there. Standing baptized, there. Baptized. That's right. Speaking in tongues. That's right. And having grown since the last 20 years. Amen. Having grew at all. That's true. Having grew at all. That's right. That's true. That's true. So don't brag about you baptized. No, don't. No, no. And got the Holy Ghost. Don't brag about that. And your hands are still tied. Amen. Bound. Your feet are still tied. Amen. Face is bound. That's right. Vision is blurred. That's right. Oh, you listen to what I'm telling you. And so therefore, my ability to function freely in freely. God to grow. Right. Is limited. That's right. Because so he only had enough. To bring me out, bring you out, but he ain't got enough mm -hmm. to keep me going. That's right. The apostles had enough to bring you out, mm -hmm. set you up, keep you going, keep you going. and have you ready when Jesus comes. That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice. What? Lazarus, come Lazarus, forth. Come forth. Come on out. And he that was dead, he that was dead, came forth. You understand? Amen. We just don't want to come out. Oh no. We need our hands free. Free. That's right. That's right. We need our feet untied. That's right. So I can walk right. Amen. I need the napkin taken off Take my off. face. Oh yes. So I can see. That's right. Who is this God? That's right. That I may understand him and know him That's in the right. power of his resurrection. Amen. What good is having 30 churches come what together goodness. in some hypocritical fellowship meeting? Go ahead. And all the preachers are blind. That's right. All are blind. 
Nobody, nobody can see. Is able to break down the book. Amen. Blind leaders of the blind. Nobody can analyze the book. That's right. Only thing that congregation here is Acts 2 38, Acts 2 38, Acts 2 38, yeah. and everybody got Acts 2 38 in the congregation. That's right. What good is it? What good is it? It is written in leaving. That's right. Principles the principles of the doctrine. Let us go on. Let us go perfection. on to perfection. Go on. That's right. That is the problem. That's right. With 99.9 .9 of you apostolic folk. Amen. You're he like Lazarus. He that was dead he came forth. He that was dead, you came forth. Bound hand and foot with grave clothes. <laughs> Still got your grave clothes on. And his face was bound about with That's why you follow them preachers with your second wife. That's right. Lying you don't want to pull off them grave clothes. That's right. Huh? Amen. You don't want to stop living together stop. not married. Oh, no. You want to stand those grave clothes. That's right. So you will be an apostolic faggot. Go ahead. Or gay. <laughs> They don't want me to say faggot. No, no, they don't want you to say that. They told me not to say faggot. My Lord. <laughs> I don't know why they don't want me to say faggot. <laughs> so you end up an apostolic gay. A gay, that's right. A, 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 a homosexual. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. So here you are. Bound hand. This is the answer to your question, viewer. Mm -hmm. Your question is, Pastor General, how is it that I haven't been growing in five and 10 and 15 years in this church? Mm -hmm. I'm baptized and I have the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you just like Lazarus. Just like him. That's right. And all you are doing is standing. That's right. Hands tied, feet tied, feet tied. glorying in your bishop. That's true. That's right. Stuck. That's true. That's true. Amen. <laughs> Give me the book of Ezekiel. Everybody all right? Back in Ezekiel 37 and at verse 6. Listen good. And I will lay sinews upon you. Yes. And will bring up flesh upon you. Now. Hmm. Flesh. Have to be brought up. Brought up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have to dress you back in the dust uh -huh. Go ahead. that you came from. Go ahead. Now, what is this equivalent to? Mm -hmm. Do your first work over. Do it over. <laughs> That's right. Because the flesh was there. That's right. It was there. That's right. But over a period of time, it deteriorated. deteriorated. So now he's going to bring it bring up. back. That's right. Which is what God says in the book of Revelation. That's you right. have to do your first Works work. Over. over. You have to get restored. That's right. Get back on track. Get, that's right. See, many folk get off track mm. and get so off track until God is no longer dealing with them. That's right. So restoration is needed. That's right. Because they allow themselves to be totally overtaken. Yeah. See, there's falling and fall, they're being overtaken by it. Right. You're overtaken by it until you can't even come out of it. That's right. That's right. And one that is spiritual restores such, such, such a one. one. And the spirit of meekness considering himself, mm -hmm. lest he also be tempted. That's right. Listen. And I will lay sinews upon you. And? And will bring up flesh upon bring you. Bring up flesh upon you. And cover you with skin. Do you hear that? Amen. Cover you. Cover you with skin. Put some clothes on you. That's right. Viewers, mm. God wants to cover you. Cover you. Cover you. With his divine word. That's right. Not just bring you up from the dead. That's right. For you were dead in trespass and in sin. Mm -hmm. Where in time past you walk according to the course of this world. That's right. According to the prince of the power there. Yeah. That spirit that now worked in the children of disobedience. disobedience. So right. after through the message of God, mm -hmm. you're resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. Now God wants to dress you up. Mm -hmm. Abram was clothed. Listen. In the book of Joshua chapter 11 at verse 31. Glory to God. And in the evening of that day. In the evening of that day. In that house. In that house. Abram was clothed. Abram was clothed. Hallelujah. With the spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants Hallelujah. you to be clothed. Amen. Clothed. Clothed. Thank God. I need him to dress my mind up. That's right. Hold on. Glory to God. I need him to cover my mind, cover my eyes. That's right. I need the spirit in my mind, spirit in my eyes, spirit in my speech, spirit in my thought, That's spirit right. in my hearing. That's right. Spirit in the members of my body. Amen. Amen. Clothed. Huh? That's right. Fully, hallelujah, fully clothed. Fully clothed. And that's what's needed now. Got to be fully clothed. That's right. Now, television viewer, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. The church you go to, mm -hmm. is it putting clothes on you? Amen. Amen. The church you go to. Amen. Does the, is the preacher a certified 
divine tailor. Taylor. That's right. That's right. Does he have the message to dress you up? Amen. That's right. Huh? Amen. He got to be able to dress you up got from your head to, to your feet. Oh, yes. He got to have the message that will dress you up. Dress you up. Because you got to be, and what you're wearing is divine armor. That's right. Huh? That's right. He got to have the message to dress you up. Dress so you when up. you go out there in the world, dress you won't be deceived by false religions. Mm -hmm. You won't be duped by false religions. Amen. And you won't be conned by a false prophet. That's right. When you're properly dressed, your friend can't lead you to a false church. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Your friend can't lead you there. Amen. He pulled on you, he pulled on you, he pulled on you. Mm -hmm. He wonder why you ain't moving. That's right. Why? You dressed. Dressed. That's He's right. naked and don't even know it. Amen. 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 Now, one thing about the devil, he'll try to undress you. Try to undress you. That's right. Huh? Let us put on. I don't want to go to some church mm -hmm. because the women know how to cook. What kind of dumb no reason is that? Amen. I don't want to go to a church because they got a good choir. That's right. I want to know it's God there. God there. That's it. That's right. That's right. It is time to stop running from church to church just because you don't like the truth. Amen. God ain't never sent the truth for you to like it. That's right. God sent the truth so you can obey it. That's right. Amen. Got to obey it or go to hell. That's right. That's the other alternative. That's now, right. If I want to appear dressed, I will go to a church mm -hmm. that have costumes. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I go to a church that have costumes. Go ahead. Go they ahead. got the look. Got the look. That's right. Mm -hmm. Having a form of godliness, but they're not a power they're thereof. Not a power. That's Everybody right. got on a bunch of costumes. Costumes. But nobody can come out being a real soldier. Mm -hmm. You see, television viewer, in a day like today, mm -hmm. you have to be a soldier to survive. Good soldier. That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Got to be. Oh, yes. The world is hard, isn't it? Yeah. 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 God, I need I, I I got to have a commander in chief commander. that can make a soldier out of me. That's right. That little sugar water teaching can't do nothing for me. Oh no. No, I, 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 Satan is—he's a tough opponent. That's right. That's right. And when he's firing at me with something, he may hit me, mm -hmm. but I got to have enough defense and enough armor. Right. I don't want him to destroy me. That's right. That's right. You need the message. That's right. To dress you up. Dress you up. And clothe you. Let us put on. Yeah. Amen. You better read that quick. Romans 13 and at verse 12. All right. The, the night is far spent. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. You hear that? Amen. The works of darkness. False church to false church, false church to false church. Uh, you, Bishop, Mr. Apostle, I'm going to get you too. Just keep listening. Get him. That's right. That's I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to get you too and get you straightened out too. That's right. Uh, yeah, all right. Come let, on, us, sir. let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Yes. And let us put on. Let us put on. The armor of light. The armor of what? The armor of light. All right. When you got the armor of light, your mind got to be illuminated. That's right. Your mind got to be illuminated to understand light and darkness. Mm -hmm. You got to understand 